Hello everyone, good morning to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Wednesday 10th of April 2024. And today's topic is constantly energized. Before we start this beautiful morning, let's say prayer together. Father, King of glory, we bless you, we honor you. Thank you for such a day like this. Thank you for this beautiful day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father, for the breath of life. Thank you for your word we are about to receive and thank you for teaching us your word this morning for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to another edition of Raps of the Ophrelities. Praise the Lord. Today is Wednesday 10th and today's topic is constantly energized. Praise the Lord. Jude one twenty says, But you, beloved, build yourself up founded on your most holy faith. Make progress, rise like an edifice, higher and higher, pray in the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. That's Jude one twenty. What the Bible says in Isaiah 41 needs to be properly understood. It says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Some have read this and run off with the notion that to be constantly energized, strengthened, or infuriated spiritually, you have to wait on the Lord in other ways. Fast for a protracted period. Hallelujah. Where fasting is an fasting is an important Yeah, praise the Lord. Fasting is an important spiritual exercise, hallelujah. But someone can fast for 40 days and 40 nights and still not have their strength with him. In the New Testament, the Lord provides us a sure and effective means to be constantly rejuvenated and infuriated spiritually, being filled with the Spirit. Ephesians 5 verse 18 to 20 says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Give it thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is the answer. Stay perpetually filled with the Spirit, studying and speaking the Word and praying in tongues. When you do this, you are constantly energized. Paul tells us, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. 1 Corinthians 14 4. In other words, when you speak in tongues, you are infigurated, revitalized, and refreshed, energized, and edified. There is a transformation in your life, and your spirit is conditioned for success, excellence, prosperity, and victory. When you speak in tongues a lot, the words of Jesus in John 7 for 8 became your everyday reality. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. What a blessing it is to be able to build yourself like an edifice, formidable and able to withstand anything and win always as you pray in tongues. Oh, oh. Praise the Lord. You see this. <laughs> when you say alcohol intoxicates you, hey, have you tried speaking in tongues? <laughs> it's a different level. Just listening to what Pastor is saying, it's just making me to think. Praise the Lord. Making me to think a little bit. Praise the Lord. Speaking in tongues is everything. That is how you win. Hallelujah. That is how you win. Praise to Lord. You put Satan in his place. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. You dribble him and score the goal. Shoot your shot. Hallelujah. So it is important that you speak in tongues because it edifies you. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. It edifies you. Hallelujah. It's everything. Hallelujah. So if you're born again, you ask for the Holy Spirit and it will come into you, activate the Holy Spirit because it's already in you. You activate the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, oh my God, you can shape your future with speaking in tongues. Praise the Lord. With that being said, let's take the confessions together. 
I am invigorated, ritualize, refresh, energize, and edify even now by the Spirit as I speak in tongues. My inner man is built up strong and I constantly walk in dominion over all adversities and adversary. Out of my belly flow goodness of living waters, words of salvation, healing, power, and strength in Jesus' name. Amen. For the study, you can look at 1 Corinthians 14, verse 4, John 7, verse 37 to 39. When your Bible read the plan, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 4, and John 7, 37 to 39. Okay, I repeated that. When your Bible read the plan, Luke 12, verse 22 to 48, and Judges 9. To your Bible read the plan, Romans 9, verse 1 to 13, and Psalm 116 to 117. So at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures. So you be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. God bless you. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, what are you waiting for? This is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth. That Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you Lord for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you repeat this beautiful prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is read your Bible. Get to know God is who Jesus is and who the Holy Spirit is to you. Bombard yourself with faith with messages such like this. And look for a believing church and worship for God. What a great time we had this morning. Please subscribe to my channel. All your notification bell. So anytime I upload a video such like this, you'll be first to be notified. And please share this video. God bless us. We follow instruction this morning in Jesus' name. Before we go, let's pray together. Father, King of Glory, we thank you for your word to us this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence in our midst. Thank you, Father, for making us.